Davo, a 7-0 thrashing over Barnstable Town this afternoon. Just the result you will have wanted. A big boost for the goal difference and a clean sheet. I expect it's a very happy dressing room in there. Yeah, absolutely. It's um, yeah, first and foremost, it, wake up in the morning, you take a scrappy 1-0 win. And um, yeah, for a while, it was scrappy. The first half, you know, we were poor, very poor. Um, got a few choice words at half-time. Got the reaction that we wanted. But yeah, you know, to win 7-0 and the quality of the second half performance and the goals that we scored you know I look forward to watching them back there were some absolutely great goals so um, yeah perfect perfect day for us really Barnstable were reduced to 10 men in the first half what was your view on the red card yeah I mean they, they, they don't, they'll be disappointed they did it you know it was probably you know, they talk about like an orange card it was a bit more less than a yellow and it was um, you know probably not really a red but yeah, it was it was a it was a poor tackle, and, and Baz has got a bad, um, you know, bad knock on his foot from it. So, um, you know, it, it was one of a, a lot of robust tackles that they put in through the game. So, you know, you know, it, it is what it is. And the floodgates open towards the end of the second half. It must really please you, different goal scorers and Terrell bagging two coming straight off the bench. Yeah, I mean Ty. He's a, I mean, what was that three, three or four games in the last few games that he's come on and scored almost instantly? He's, he's a top draw finisher. He's a top draw at, at what he does. And um, I was pleased for Ollie that he didn't um, you know, work them hard and then make way and and uh, not Ty come on and score. You know we played them both today. We changed it a little bit. We we. Um, we brought Josh uh, Harfield off to protect him because I think they were trying to get him sent off. Um, you know, a lot of their theatrics and stuff like that, diving all over the place. I thought it was, it was a poor show, really. Um, so protected him and, and played them together with Ty slightly deeper. And um, I was pleased Ollie got his goal and, and Ty got his two. Yeah, perfect, perfect, uh, perfect end to the game for us. And a tough week on the road coming up with Highworth away and Biddyford away. What are your thoughts heading into the Highworth game? We drew one all with them here earlier in the season. Yeah, they're you know they're a decent side. They, they um the first season in, in this league and they've they've done all right. They've sort of in and around it and they've tailed away a little bit the last few games. But um, I've seen they've signed a couple of good players. Uh, you know, Westlake from from Swindon Supermarine, who's a top player. So you know they're not um, they're certainly no mugs. It'll be a tough game, especially on a Wednesday night, which is which is always awkward. You know, it's not the normal night for football for us, and it, you, know, so you have to change things around to get away from work differently and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's um, it'd be tough, and then Biddeford's also tough. But you know, our record away from home has been superb. I mean, our record what was it uh, it's eight wins and two draws our last ten games. So, um, you know, our record in 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 full's been good. But speci- speci- um, specifically away from home, we've been. Lively, we, we you know we've got pace and we catch teams on the break and we're nice and solid. So um, yeah, it'll, it'll be a real tough week, but we look forward to it. We we'll enjoy today first. Brilliant, well done today, Davo, and best of luck next week. Cheers, mate.